Hi, everyone, and welcome to Disc Golf Valley Tips and Tricks. And today we're going to answer the question that a lot of new users ask, and that is, how do I acquire discs? How do I build up my disc collection? How do I make a good bag uh, to get started in Disc Golf Valley? Well, um, today we're going to answer that question. There's lots of different ways that you can get new discs. And so let's go through some of those uh, methods. The first one is by leveling up. You'll see at the very top corner of my screen that I am currently on level three of this new account that I've started for this series. And as you pass each level, uh, you will be offered three discs and you can choose one of those three to add to your collection. And uh, so that is one great way of acquiring new discs is to level up. And so you maybe the next question is, well, how do I level up? Well, you level up by getting experience points. That's what the XP stands for, experience points. And the way that you get experience points is to play games. Now, what we've been doing so far in this series is doing Challenge the Valley. And... Um, that is more about three-starring courses so that you can unlock new courses. And uh, that is actually another way that you get discs. We'll maybe talk about that in a moment. But unfortunately, when you're three-starring, you don't um, actually get very many experience points. So if you want to start leveling up more, what you really need to do is play some of the other options here, like the Daily Challenge, for example. Every day, um, you will be offered a new uh, challenge that you can do. And if you do fairly well, like getting um, the silver or the gold, you'll get uh, uh, experience points. Oh, it looks like you get experience points regardless. Even if you get the bronze level, uh, you get a, a hundred experience points. And then if you get the silver, you'll get an additional 50, and the gold an additional 50, and the diamond level an additional 50. Now, the nice thing to know is when you're first starting out, uh, they kind of cut you a break. You'll notice that all you have to do is get a minus 7 to get the diamond level, and that will give you 250 experience points. How do I, What does it mean, minus 7? Well, that means getting... Um, at least a birdie uh, on seven of the nine holes. Now, you might shake that up by getting the odd eagle, uh, but uh, that's what that means, is to get uh, some birdies and uh, end up with a score of minus seven to get the diamond level when you're first starting out. Now, as you progress up the levels, a couple of things are going to happen. Um, first of all, you'll see that right now, level 3, all you have to do is get 500 experience points to level up. Well, by the time you get to uh, level 8 or 9, if I'm remembering correctly, this jumps up to uh, needing to get 1,000 uh, experience points before you level up. Plus, the daily challenge, I'm guessing, is going to get a little harder. You'll probably come to the same level as everybody else is playing, and it will vary from day to day. Sometimes it will require minus 9 in order to get the diamond, and sometimes it will be even more than that, minus 10, 11, minus 12. I've even seen minus 13 in order to get the diamond level uh, when, you're, when you're further down the road. And that's because as you play the game and you gain experience, a lot of these holes, you're just going to be getting eagles and... Uh, sometimes albatrosses and aces as well. And so you are going to end up with, you know, if you're experienced, you're going to end up with more than the minus nine anyways. All right, so that is one way. Level up, and each time you level up, you are going to be offered a disc. Uh, well, three discs, so you choose which one you like. The kind of discs that you are offered at the entry level of the game may not uh, be the best, let's put it that way. I mean, I've noticed you can start getting five speeds and seven speeds, even at this level, and some of them are even accurate, so they're good discs. 
It's just that you probably already have those discs in your bag, especially if you've been following our series where we purchased a few discs. And so it may not be until you get to a level, maybe 10, that you start getting offered um, the 10 speeds. And uh, then, but even then, you will probably won't be offered a lot of, uh, of the really good discs, like ballistas. And, in fact, I think it's not until you get to 11, level 19 or 20 before you start being offered ballista discs when you uh, level up. And even then, you won't be offered ballista discs every time. And uh, so keep that in mind. And, uh, and then tied to this is the, let's, let's go back, uh, hit the home button. And let's go to the pro shop. Just go down to the bottom uh, left-hand corner. You see the pro shop. And here, let's tab over to daily deals. And here is another way that you can acquire discs. Every day, you will be presented with a new random offering here uh, of discs that you can purchase with the coins that you will be getting as you play the game. Um, you remember that when we played the daily, when you uh, get the silver, you not only get experience points, but you gain coins. 50 coins, 100 coins. If you get the diamond, it's 200 coins. So as you play the game, you're going to be building up the amount of coins that you have, and then you can spend those virtual coins to purchase, let's say in quotation marks, purchase discs with your fantasy coins. So let's go back to the Pro Shop, and you can do that. There's a little button at the top of the screen there, Pro Shop. Just click on that. Let's go back to our daily deals. Now, you may have noticed that not all of the discs that show up here are something that you can access at this point, and it lets you know right there what level you have to reach in order to uh, purchase these discs with your coins. At this point, I could purchase an extra slot in my bag or several slots in my bag if I had enough coins. They let you do that right away. But you need enough coins, and so that's why the coins are, are grayed out. I only have 2,025 coins right now, so I can't purchase any new slots in my bag at this point because I just don't have enough coins. But uh, as you build up your bank of coins, uh, you'll be able to purchase some of these discs. The Claymore is actually pretty good. For 720, you might want to try and get something like that. And each day this will be reset, and it's uh, by a random offering. And so sometimes the discs aren't that great, but other times you can get some real gems in here. So it's good to check every day. So the next great way of acquiring discs is to uh, challenge the valley, like we've been doing in our series. And uh, so far we have reached level the harrowing woods. We've finished the three stars on that. But by the time you watch this video, we may be a lot further down the way. Uh, but each time you do a three star, in fact, even if you only get one star on a course uh, as you're learning the game, let's say you only make it to one or two stars, each time you acquire a star, you're also going to be uh, awarded a disc. And so by the time you get down to, you know, the 15th course, you're going to have a lot of discs in your bag because you get uh, three stars every time. And if you want to know what discs you're going to be getting, uh, just simply click on the course and you'll see them over here on the right hand side. You can click on one and even do a test drive of that disc that you will be getting once you get that star. And so that's kind of nice. That's a great way to build up your bag. There is a way of acquiring discs by playing events. You see the button over here on the right-hand side that says events. And it takes you over to an event page. And uh, I have a couple that I've just played recently, so they're still showing up here. But um, to, in order to access an, a new event, you have to find out who's offering the event and get a code that you need to enter into the event and then join the event. How do you find these codes? Well, let's go to the news 
and uh, today is actually August 14, and uh, there's an event tonight. However, I'm recording this at a time I don't think it has started yet, but let's check it out and see. If you hit the check it out button, it takes you to a YouTube channel uh, called Hops and Heiser for this event. And um, let's play it and see if they've started their event yet. I think it doesn't start for another hour or so. So let's go back. Okay, let's find one that uh, is historic that I haven't done. Okay, I don't think I did this one in July 3. Let's check it out. So you hit the check it out button. It takes you to the website channel again. And uh, there's two ways to play here at uh, Hops and Heisers. You can play on the actual night that it is going live and compete live against other players and at the end you will be offered a choice of a disc uh, however if you are busy uh, when it goes live you can they, they leave these up for at least a month or so and so at any time that you have time you can go to the website get the event code and here it is down I'll shut the volume down here here it is down here in the bottom left-hand corner. You'll see MM0703 Mayhem. So let's type that in. Um, if you want to remember how to do this in the future, uh, they on Monday night it's called Monday Mayhem. And so that's what the MM stands for, Monday Mayhem. And then it's the date of the event, 0703, and then the word mayhem. So 0703, let's go back to Disc Golf Valley and go to events and type in MM. And you don't have to worry about capitalizing. It'll automatically bring it up to caps. MM0703 and then mayhem. And then hit join or done join event and there uh, you'll be presented with uh, four courses and all you have to do is complete the four courses and you will be offered a disc that uh, you can use to build up your collection and they're usually pretty good offerings um, that they give you now when you're still at the entry levels level one level two level three up to 10 or, or 15 or 20 even um, I don't I don't know if you're offered the the great distance drivers that uh, people are offered once they reach level 20 so you might have to wait until you uh, reach level 20 in order to be offered the really great distance drivers but this is still a good way to get going and uh, start uh, building up your collection so just go to the event get the code and uh, play the courses and you'll get your disc and uh, playing the courses are a lot of fun because um, they'll shake things up uh, one course might let you use your own bag but then another course might um, choose the discs for you so you have to know how to work with new discs on the fly and it can be a lot of fun and uh, help you get those great discs so that's another good way so what else can we show you here? I think most of the other ways cost cash, real money. Um, some are better than others. Let's go take a look at the pro shop and go through these tabs together. GoPro, uh, the first tab. Um, one of the first uh, ways that uh, is actually very good is to get a season pass for multiplayer. And uh, I just went through season two here and I got a lot of discs. I paid uh, just eight ninety nine, and then started playing the multiplayer. And over the course of two or three weeks, I gained, I think it was 12, 15 discs and uh, some really good ones. And so this is probably the best value that you can <laughs> find in order to get a lot of discs for just uh, a little bit amount of money. 
you'll notice that all of the others uh, cost you about the same, but you only get three discs. And so I would recommend um, once you gain a little of experience how to play is to get the season pass. Now, this is the middle of August, and um, this season two has been around now for about five weeks, and so it might be coming to an end. I'm not exactly sure what will happen if you get the season two pass right now and it uh, finishes in a week or two and you're only halfway through. You, I don't know if, if they'll let you continue to finish it or if it will just close down. I'll maybe do some research on that and get back to you on that. But that's a great way, especially if you've already started to know how to play, because what happens is when you get the season pass, you are going to be playing against other players, so you're going to be competing. And um, the great thing about that is that they will find what level of experience you have and kind of try and pair you with other people at the same level. So that's helpful. And uh, the idea is that the more games you win, the faster you accumulate your uh, points and uh, faster you get your rewards. But here's a, a quick look at uh, what you're going to get. Here it says eight random discs. Um, but it um, seems to me I got, well, I think maybe eight and then maybe there's five more here and then you can keep going past the 25th level and still acquire more discs and it looks like you get the flow uh, just by signing up so yeah like i say 10 to 15 discs that you get just for that 899 it's a great way to really build up your collection all right and then there are the packs uh, that you have here and um uh, you know, all of these packs that they have lined up this year are really good sets of discs. You know, for the the price of a couple of cups of coffee out at Starbucks, you can get yourself a real nice set of discs here. And uh, you could get any one of these packs and really improve your game because they're really uh, going to help you um, be accurate and get to the distance and uh, um, really be competitive in the game. And so I would, I, I've already recommended, if you've been following this series, I've already rec recommended a few sets. And uh, as I am going through the courses, I'm realizing something is happening here that because we're advancing much faster than we're leveling up, we are and now approaching some courses where um, it's really going to become difficult to start three-starring them without some better discs that you would normally or naturally have acquired by just playing the game over the course of three to six months. But because we're advancing so fast, just a matter of a week or so, we're not leveling up, and so therefore we're not get, being offered the really good discs. And so I think I've decided what I'm going to do is recommend getting one more pack uh, for the people that are following this Jumpstart series. Uh, and this is going to help us uh, just breeze through the rest of the courses is to, to get this one more pack, the summer pack. What, because what we're really missing is a, a good distance driver that has a role attribute. Now this particular one, the windbreak roll, is not the one that I usually use, the rive windbreak roll. I usually use the glide rive uh, that has the roll attribute. But it's just not being offered in any of these packs or anywhere on the team series list. So that's going to be the closest I can come to the rive that I usually use in my other accounts to uh, start three-starring some of these games. and But it also comes with a couple of other great discs, the West Side 14. This is a, an amazing distance disc. I don't know. It might actually go the furthest of any disc in the, being offered in the game right now as far as how far it will go before it lands. And there are some holes where that is a really a good advantage to have a disc that flies 
a long ways before it touches down. And uh, so that's going to be good to have in the bag. And then the 11 Extra Glide Accurate is just wonderful also to have in the bag. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase this. And I recommend that if you're following the series that we're doing on getting a jump start on Disc Golf Valley, that uh, you should go ahead and pick that up as well because we'll be using that uh, as we demonstrate how to get the three stars. Okay, so that's now in our pack. But then, uh, you can know, if you've got, uh, if money is not an issue for you, you can go through and uh, maybe pick up some other packs too. Now, the issue that you'll run into is having enough slots in your bag. So maybe don't get too many. But in addition to these uh, special offers in the GoPro section, we can go over and tab over to uh, some other sets that uh, you can purchase. And as you purchase any one of these sets of great discs, you will be uh, supporting a real-life disc golf champion. And so they can invest more time into the game. So that's a nice, you can do that. And then we've already looked at the daily deals. And then there's the deal of the week. And uh, once each week, this uh, this one that is at the top, that's 25% off, will change every week. And so you can keep your eye on that. It might be a, a good way to get a very particular disc that uh, will fill an empty slot in your bag. And if you want to check out and see how any one of these discs fly, just hit the little I button, and that takes you to the test drive area, and you can try it out. And just see if that's the type of disc that you feel that you would be able to use as you start three-starring all those courses. And that's kind of a nice disc, actually. It, uh, it uh, reaches the end of the line there. So that might be an option that you want to take a look at. But if you get that west side disc, you'll be able to reach that last line and go over it. Uh, so if you've just picked up that summer pack, then you probably don't need this destiny distance. But uh, you can keep your eye out. These change every week, I think, as to what they offer here. And uh, sometimes you'll be playing a course and you realize, oh, I really need a particular disc. Or you see somebody demonstrating on the Facebook page, you know, how they uh, birdie a hole or, or get an ace on a hole and they have a particular disc. And you want to be able to do the same way you can maybe come find it here. All right, so that's how you can acquire discs. You can slowly build up uh, through the leveling up or if you want to get a jump start you can pull out your credit card and, and buy some discs and I, I, don't, I don't know I, I have no problem spending money on this I know that uh, some people are very adamantly opposed to paying any money here at Disc Golf Valley you know it started out completely free and I think that's why people are so opposed because they just don't like the change to uh, the game uh, and how they're now uh, uh, doing such a big promotion on buying discs. And they feel uh, offended somehow. My philosophy is if I'm spending, you know, f three or four hours a week uh, being entertained in this way that uh, I have no problem supporting the development of the game. Uh, it's just getting better and better every uh, year and uh, it's through the purchase of discs to support the developers that that happens. And so I'm happy to support. And uh, I think everybody should. Let's not be freeloaders. <laughs> All right. Well, that's it uh, for this uh, video. And I uh, hope uh, that I've been able to answer your question, how to build up your bag. We'll see you next time here at Disc Golf Valley Tips and Tricks. So long for today.